Question 23 gives us uh, a results table and graph for uh, an experiment measuring the, uh, the, uh, the stress and strain in a, in a wire, metal wire. The first part, part A, asks us to complete the table by determining the extension when the tension is 8 newtons, so this missing value here. Now to do this, we need to first of all work out what the initial length of the wire was so that we can then use the strain to work out the extension because we, we know the equation strain uh, is equal to extension divided by original length. So that gives us the original length is equal to the extension divided by the strain. So let's pick a value here. So for the first one here, the extension is 0 0.4 times 10 to the minus 3 and the strain is 0 0.2 times 10 to the minus 3 which gives us an initial length of 2 meters and now we can feed that back in we can work out x is equal to strain times length and when the force was 8 newtons the strain was 0 0.2 8 times 10 to the minus 3 multiplied by 2 meters gives us an extension of 1.6 times 10 to the minus 3. So our answer in this box here is 1.6. Part BI asks us to plot the data point corresponding to the tension of 5.9 newtons and draw the line of best fit through all of the data points. So at 5.9 Newtons, we have a stress of 5.21 pascals. So 5 is there, 5.2 would be this point here. And the strain is 0 0.6, which is here, which means that the point should be plotted here. And we need to draw a line of best fit through the points. So we want a straight line that passes through or as close to uh, as many points as possible with an even spread of points either side of the line. Well, actually, we can draw a line that pretty much goes through all of them here. And then part II asks us to determine the Young modulus of the metal. Now, to do that, we would find the gradient of the line because the Young modulus E is equal to stress divided by strain. So let's take uh, a couple of points on our graph. So let's begin with this point here at uh, a stress of 8. We have a strain of 0 0.92 and at a stress of 1.7 we have a strain of 0 0.2 we need to remember that the stress is times 10 to the 7 and the strain is times 10 to the minus 3 which will give us uh, an answer for the Young modulus of 8.75 times 10 to the power of 10 pascals. Finally, part C explains that the micrometer screw gauge that was used to determine the diameter of the wire had a zero error. What this means is that there's an offset, it's a systematic error, an offset between uh, the actual value and the measured value. The diameter recorded by the student was larger than it should have been. So the actual value was smaller. So discuss how the actual value of the Young modulus would differ from the value calculated in BII. Well, if the actual D diameter is smaller, then A would be smaller, the cross-sectional area. That's 
because uh, the cross-sectional area is equal to pi d squared divided by 4. So if d's got smaller, a will have to get smaller as well. And we know that stress is equal to force divided by area. Therefore, the actual stress is larger. And we know that the Young modulus is equal to stress divided by strain. So therefore, the Young modulus is larger. Thank you for watching this video from Cowan Physics. If you found it useful, please like, subscribe and visit cowanphysics.com.